Good morning and welcome to Trading the Trend on uh, Wednesday the 15th of March. Now last week's trade was to go short the Australian dollar versus the New Zealand dollar and as we can see here on the daily financial bet that trade is still working out quite well. We continue to slide with regards to this uh, currency pair and uh, therefore let us look at the uh, trade we had on from the previous week, which was to go long the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. And this one here, as you can see, um, has reversed lower. But since we moved our take profit level to break even to the level we went into the trade in at 135 yen and 50 sen, um, we got out of this trade at break even. So we didn't make a loss. Um, moving on to another trade we had on since mid-February, what you can see here that is WTI. We've been short WTI um, crude oil basically uh, for quite a while since mid-February. We were nearly right and hit our target, but then the market went back up again. And then since then it's come off again. Now, in order to avoid this happening once more, even though our downside target hasn't been hit, it was at 70 dollars and uh, 50 uh, cents I believe if I remember correctly um, and since we are close to previous support I would suggest that uh, you get out of that short trade with a around um, six dollar profit so getting out of your shorts from I believe it was uh, 78 dollars and 35 cents now at 72 dollars and 35 cents making you a six dollar profit on this one Moving on to another trade we had on, we were short uh, the NASDAQ 100. And as you can see, we uh, rallied uh, at the beginning of March, but then came off again this week on the back of uh, the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank. But since then, the market seems to have stabilized and is heading back up again, which is worrying me slightly with regards to our short position. So therefore, I'd like to get out of our shorts um, that we had on and um, do so now at 12,200. And uh, this week's trading the trend will be to go long the NASDAQ 100 on a retracement to 12,100 with an upside target at 12,800 and a stop loss. And this is a stop and reverse order actually at 11,675 meaning that we would go short if we were to fall through 11,675.